If you want, you can drop one of these heat-powered stove fans up here. Give that a minute or two, and then the heat soaks up to the little chip between the pieces of metal back there, and this thing will start turning. It's almost turning right now. And the only thing the fan blade and the motor is using to turn, the only electricity it's getting is from the heat of the sand. It's what's called a heat-powered stove fan. It soaks up the heat from the bottom and that heat creates enough electricity to turn the motor to run the fan. And then all that heat that's radiating upwards will get blown out into the room. Super easy to wire this up by the way. Just wrap it around and screw it down. This one's got the Phillips head screw on it. This by the way is just a 13 amp extension cord wire. Medium duty, standard stuff. By the way, just for the record, most of the medium and high power water heating elements, when they're not in water, they'll burn out pretty quick. So you need water with a lot of them. This is a smaller one in terms of the power, probably the smallest one you can buy. It's just a 12 volter DC and it's 150 watt. So that works out to what, 12, 12 and a half amps. So not too big, hot, but not too hot. So it should be great for heating the sand. And I don't think one this small will burn out without the water. The wood, by the way, again, is optional. You can just jam that into the sand. But it makes it easier to move when it's hot, and you don't want to touch those if you can help it. So that gives it a nice solid base. And then you want it up on the bricks because the element goes almost all the way to the bottom. You don't want to get the table too hot. But other than that, you're pretty much set.